Hey everyone, Marcus from Topic Tech here. Today we're doing a how-to video on the temple at Jose, how to complete it, uh, full completion. So first thing you want to do is take the orbs on the side of the first room here and insert them into the door. Uh, it doesn't matter which order, left or right, just grab them both and throw them in there. This room, there's a lot going on in here. First thing you're gonna wanna do though is grab the orbs from the walls here to the left and the right of the, the back door and carry them over to the Eastern Hall, the hall on the right here, and just insert them into one of those two slots. After inserting both spheres into their slots here, the pillar and the ceiling will charge up. Return to the center of the room and push the pedestal east so it lines up with the electric pillar above. After supercharging the sphere, remove it from the pedestal and insert it in the right slot by the back door. Now we need to remove the two spheres we inserted in the wall here and insert them into the pedestal. With both spheres inside the pedestal, return to the western wing of the hall here and step on the glyph on the floor. This glyph will return the pedestal to the center of the room. Push the pedestal straight back into the new hallway. The pedestal then becomes a suspended platform that you can use to leap to the other side. On the other side, push this pedestal into the wall. Return back to the center hall, and then head back into the western hallway to step on the glyph on the floor. This will return the pedestal back to the center of the room again. Take the spheres from the pedestal, and return back to the first hallway and insert them into the slots on the wall. Return back to the pedestal and grab the other sphere and insert it in the other spot. Return back to the center of the hallway and retrieve the supercharged sphere from the right slot and insert it in the slot left of the door. This will cause a platform to appear. Go ahead and take the platform up to the next level. In this room, you'll find five pedestals against the wall, two of which are hidden off to the sides. Push each of the five pedestals into the wall. With all five pedestals pushed in, the circuitry powers the door leading up to a third floor. Ignore that for now. Instead, take the platform back down to the first floor. Upon returning to the first floor, head back into the western wing and you'll see a glowing spot on the wall. Go up and touch the glyph. This reveals the hidden destruction sphere. Remove the destruction sphere and head back up to the second floor.
Insert the destruction sphere into the pedestal on the second floor, and this will reveal the temple's hidden item. And that completes the temple's puzzle. Take the item, and then head up the stairs to the third floor.